What up y'all and welcome back to another one. I think today starts just a run, you know, day by day by day like we were doing for quite some time of pigeon trapping videos. It's gonna be a full video of over the loft and trapping pigeons on city buildings. So during this video, I'm sure we're gonna, uh, hopefully, I mean, I'm not sure actually. I'm hoping that we will trap some pigeons with the new trap that we just put out. And I have to show you guys all the new activity in the pigeon loft, let me tell you what. But real quickly, I have to show you a new t-shirt from Ducks Waterfowl. This is not a Ducks t-shirt of the month, which those are still available. If you wanna sign up for them, you're more than welcome. But this is actually a design that we just put up for good. Check that bad boy out right there. Old black lab staring you in the face. I know, pretty good looking shirt, huh? Got the little gray logo looking good if you guys want to pick up one of these t-shirts i will link them down in the description below actually at the top of that bad boy i'm done blabbing let's get on the road i gotta grab my bucket I gotta grab some corn need corn so a ton of pigeons just landed up here when i parked the truck about a flock of a hundred landed up here i searched the entire bed of the truck hoping that i had a net in there a hand net i have a hand net at home and i keep saying i'm gonna bring it and i keep forgetting today would have been the day because a ton of birds just landed up here oh there we go yeah see there's one there perched up oh looky there boys looky there so we've been letting it sit for right at 24 hours. Caught three of them, yeah buddy. Holy smokes, what happened there? Oh, we had a storm last night. So we got three in that trap, that's awesome. That's amazing, didn't expect that already. But here's our new trap that I set the other day, actually yesterday. You guys would have seen this on, what, a video ago? Yep, we had a storm last night. It blew it all the way over here. Yep. I don't doubt that. No birds in it though. This here is a little nest. A couple eggs under there still. I'm gonna leave the eggs alone. I don't like that though. They completely moved that trap all the way over there. It did rain. We did have a storm last night. But that's a brand new trap that one of you sent me and I don't want to lose it. I'm almost thinking two traps is too many up here, to be quite honest. I might end up pulling that. We're gonna let it sit for a little while though. Let it sit, see if they like it at all. I don't like that though. I'm gonna have to fasten it down or put more weight in it or something. If you, if you guys have a good idea, should I keep that trap up here? You see how big it is. That one's successful, obviously. That's awesome. I mean, holy smokes, you know. But, do I run two up here? We have access to this roof, which I do want to trap up there, but, like, you gotta use the sketchy, the sketchy ladder every time, you know. I really don't feel like climbing a bunch and doing all that all the time, especially when it's gonna be really, really cold, but, here we go. Let's check it out. Check it out. You got your head stuck, dude. <laughs> he just had his head stuck there, but three birds. Check it out. All blue checks. Amazing. I, uh, I know one reason why it might have worked. It's a lot cooler. I don't think the weather has much to do with it yet, but I was gone for a week in North Dakota, like y'all seen. So what I did was move this trap and I put it over there. Now it had rained and it had uh, it had piled up a lot of food here, kind of meshed it. It was all kind of nasty. So it was stuck to the roof. These birds, I can guarantee you, over the week that I was gone, with the trap not being here, they came here every day and picked apart that food pile. So just caught them, tricked them, you know, got them used to their being food pretty much and then 
threw a trap down on their booties. You know what I'm saying? There's our first one. They're all blue checks. That guy there had got some red on him. Just in the back of him. He's got some red. Not much. I'll show it to you. Now guys, I got good lighting over here. I want to show this to you. Check out the feathers on that guy. See that white and red? These two birds here got a lot of red on them. Check them out. Uh, not, I mean, not a ton, a ton, but I can't. Let me see you, guy. Come here, buddy. Come here. See his wing? He's got a lot of that auburn red color on him and a lot of white. Good looking birds there. Blue checks, but they have more white and red than normal. Really good looking birds. They might be pretty, but they are also extremely feisty. Oh, I had to get them, I had to get both of them out and try to get me a good thumbnail. I think I did. But what we're gonna do on this new trap here is I have really am kind of worried about the wind situation. Um, we're gonna throw some corn out though. Throw some corn just around it a little bit, a little bit in there. Thing about the corn is that it's a lot more visible. They'll be able to see that golden nugget on this black roof pretty darn good. You know what I'm saying? Not gonna put much, that's about all we need. Put the shade back over the top, which I don't know if the shade's a big deal now that it's a lot cooler out. I'll tell you one thing, from the top view, looking down like a bird, it looks really good and blends in with the roof. So we're gonna run it here just a little longer uh, hopefully we can eventually catch something in it, but I know the reason why we caught these three in the old trap over here Was exactly like I said they were used to that trap not being there. They had food. They came for days on end Cleaned it all up They were used to it. Look at that. Check that out. See that red color? That is beautiful, especially on these end wings out here. You can really see that red color coming through They're not young young birds either They've got a little age to them. Check them out. You can tell by their eyes, their legs. This guy is not young, young. So it must all be brother, sister or something. Uh, nest buddies, nest, nest companions at some point because they all have the same coloring. Go ahead and put that guy in there. He's a big one. He's probably the biggest of them all. We're good. We're ready to roll. Um, they are definitely nest mates. I can guarantee you they all look alike. Uh, they're all about the same age. Probably brothers and sisters who just always feed and fly and still roost together. You know what I'm saying? But if you guys are liking these videos, if you guys not, if you guys are not only liking these videos, but if you want more of the trapping on top of rooftops, just like this, I told you we got some more roofs that we're gonna hit. Probably gonna end up moving the new trap off of this roof. This one, the old trap here, it's just working way too well by itself. Yes, it's a big roof. We might be able to utilize it when it gets cold, like I keep saying. But until then, I think this is just a one trap rig up here. You know what I'm saying? So, drop your comments. What should I do with the new one? Should we move it? Well, here we go. We got our dudes here, our new dudes. Gonna welcome them to their new home. We're at Jordan's. He has a farm going on, let me tell you. He has more birds here than you would ever imagine. He raises turkeys, pheasants, everything. Check him out. Yeah, what are you guys doing, huh? Huh? But back here is the old pigeon loft. There's Jordan's old German pigeons there. Pretty birds. So that right side is the special side with like the German owl pigeons and everything. And then this side, actually, this side don't have anything in it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's got it done. I'll be darn. He's putting all the feral pigeons up there. It's been, I've been in North Dakota, like I said, so it's been like a week and a half since I've been here. He got it done. I'll be darn. Huh, I haven't got to come see it yet. I tried calling him on the way over here. He's probably at work, busy. Check this out. Oh boy, he's got her all done up. He's used to these sketchy ladder situations. Ow. <laughs> uh, I won't cut that out, I promise. Here we are though. 
That's the first time I've actually been all the way up here. Check it out. What's he got going on? Ooh, nice. He built a nice little hinged door system. Boom. So we can put them in right there now. Cool. That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> uh, so, if you don't know, uh, Jordan has transformed his barn, literally over half of his barn, into a massive pigeon loft. Check it out. It is looking awesome. If you guys want to see a full video over the loft, we can come back with, uh, with Jordan. Because Jordan actually has a YouTube channel. If you haven't followed his channel, I will link it down in the description. But yeah, he has his own YouTube channel and he's been, he's been doing great. So, I'm really proud of him. He has been doing great with the channel. And uh, a lot of you went over there from here and you all have been loving his content. So, we're having fun together. A lot of pigeon hunts, dove hunts, dairy farm hunts, waterfowl hunts to come with Jordan and I. Believe you me. Put these bad boys up on, up on in here. Come here, buddies. These are pretty birds, though, I'll tell you what. Go on. There you go. Oh, yeah. They're going to feel right at home here. I don't know how many birds we got in here already, but uh, there's quite a few. Let me tell you. Let's see if this one will actually fly for us. We're going to go on in and take a gander anyways. Here they are. See if this guy will fly. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know how many he's got in here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13. He's getting them in here. But like I said, I know he's got a lot of babies going on. Oh yeah. If you guys want a full update on Jordan's loft, we'll come here. We'll do a full video over Jordan's entire farm. He's got baby pheasants. He's got baby turkeys. A little bit of everything. Let me know down in the comments and we'll make it happen. Well, 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 we are back here at the house. That was an exciting little morning. I didn't expect three of them to be in the trap already. Honestly, I had no idea. And they were a little different. Yeah, they were all blue checks, but they had some red coloring. It was pretty neat. But I warned y'all we would be coming back to the house. What's this doing here? Bodie has been in the garden again, stealing all my veggies. They just, they just, you just find them laying everywhere. You know what I mean? He goes back there, picks them, leaves them. So, check it out. I have not showed you the loft at all for a while. Check out these guys. I have been leaving them alone a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. They're, they're, <laughs> their nest needs cleaned pretty bad. You can tell it's a little nasty, but look how big they are. Now, these birds. These birds are uh, the white and black mama, and then what I believed was Clark being the dad. Now, now old buddy there, he's a, he's a feral bird, but he's mostly white and red. Uh, he's got a really bluish head, blue feral head on him, but him and then mama is right beside him there on the backside. That is their babies. I still don't know if it's either Clark or him that being the dad. He kind of took over, took over ownership. Uh, but they're looking as if one of them is going to have more white on their back tail feathers than the other. Uh, I don't know how long it takes for the coloring to come through. Drop a comment down below and let me know how long does it take, you know, when they're babies until their coloring on their feathers really starts showing. So check this out though man I haven't showed you guys these guys at all check this out now these little babies are the babies of our mated pair that one right there there's mama and there's dad right there but that is our mated pair our full bred white pigeons now these guys right here should be completely white look at them they're just starting to open their eyes I can really tell by their feathers, they're gonna be a lighter color for sure. But no ifs, ands, or buts about it, those two should be completely, fully white. White. So, I'm really excited to see them grow up and see what their colors turn into. They should have no black markings at all. But I haven't showed you guys the, uh, the loft here in a while, my little backyard loft. Um, if you guys want more videos over the loft, let me know. Let me know what you want me to do. 
Um, we're going to keep breeding them. We're going to keep producing babies in here. That's why I took them to Jordan's house was because we got babies on the ground, uh, baby babies, and then we got other babies that are uh, getting older now. They're going to be jumping out of the nest here very soon, but I don't want to disrupt the rhythm and the rhyme that we got going on. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be expecting more videos of that bad boy right there. I'm itching. I'm itching. Dove season's almost here. By the time this video goes up, I'll already be dove hunting and probably using the shirt. So stay tuned for more videos. They're going to be coming in abundance all hunting season long. We got crows, dove, pigeon, ducks, geese, a little bit of everything. Trapping, going to get in some new style of trapping, not just pigeons. So if you guys have any ideas for videos that you want me to do right now, teach you something, maybe a foul Friday, maybe a loft video, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. We will see y'all on the next one. Peace.